Today we are going to finally get our hands on some much needed prismarine for our level 4 upgrades. Now naturally I could grab some prismarine blocks from the monument here by myself quite easily in fact. But where's the fun in that? No, instead, I want our idiots to be somewhat involved in this gathering process, seeing as it is for their own builds that we need to prismarine for in the first place. Which is why we have been trying to beef up our overall combat and defences so that they can fare slightly better against the Guardians. But ultimately, you know as well as I do that these idiots are completely useless. And this is all going to end with me just having to tackle this ocean monument and gather the prismarine for them. But they are still going to try help us out here, and the trying is all that really matters, am I right? So most of the guard towers around the colony should be up to the level 3, if not level 4 mark by now, like this Space Wars guards tower here, which is at level 4. So our guards and archers should be a little bit more competent combat wise to help us out with the ocean monument here. Let's do a little test then to see how our guards are going to fare against the guardians. Which we are going to require a rallying banner in order to do that, which is a fairly simple recipe here. In fact, I will get our idiots to make those items up for us. So they will make all of these items here and deliver them to my post box. Then we will create that rallying banner and can move on from there. The way the rallying banner works is fairly simple. You shift and right click onto a guard tower or barracks tower to assign some guards to the rallying banner, which if you then right click again somewhere, you will then get up a list of all of the guards and knights who are then attached to the rallying banner. Which if you rally all guards to you, the amount of guards that you have set to the banner should at some point start heading down towards you. You can see that idiot over there highlighted. He's one of the rallied guards. And basically this Muppet here will now just follow me around the place so long as the rallying banner is active and he should defend me no matter where I go. And you get the idea of where we're going with this. So we will just go around some of the other guard towers around the colony and add even more idiots into this roster. Then we'll head out to the ocean monument. The medieval oak alternative barracks here is currently being upgraded by Ellison, but we do have three level 3 barrack towers within it, which should host quite a few archers and knights within it. This barracks here in particular has one knight and two archers attached to it, so that's three idiots who have now joined into our cause, with the potential of yet another six idiots if I could get into this part here to rally some more of them. Oh, are we supposed to go upstairs? Um, maybe. This whole build is in a bit of a mess at the moment because it has been upgraded. We now have quite a few archers and knights involved here, so let's quickly dismiss them and then re-rally them again. So we have 12 guards who are going to answer our call. Which here they come, and there they go for some reason. Uh, yes guys, I'm over here. Perfect, look at all these idiots. This is going to be disastrous. Right, well let's head out to the ocean monument then. I am really not expecting these guys to do too much out here, seeing as these things are under the water, so it will mainly be the archers who I reckon will do most damage to them, unless they get too close to the top of the water of course, in which case then the knights can take them out with swords. Look at these keen little muppets down there, already desperate to get in here to attack them. That's the fighting spirit I like to see. So the guardians 
are attacking the guards at the moment, which is a good sign, so long as the guards can then attack them back, which, um, so far, not so good. Can your guys' arrows not penetrate through the water here to them? Look at this one. Let's just concentrate on him for a minute. Why don't we try attack him? Look, I'll start. Nope, they don't seem to be attacking it too well. And we clearly have a druid out here as well. I wasn't aware that we had those within the colony. Um, yeah, this is going as pretty much as expected, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew that these idiots couldn't go down into the waters, into the monument with me, but I was kind of hoping that they could snipe them at least from the surface, which they are kind of doing that, I suppose. Really, it's just all of the knights here with the swords who are a bit bloody useless. The archers are doing somewhat of an alright job. Well, before everyone there gets killed, let's maybe retreat a little bit and regroup elsewhere. I do have another plan in mind. The guards were not very helpful as we expected down there, especially the ones with the swords. The archers on the other hand, they were a bit better use for us over there. But what I am going to do at the moment is just dismiss them all. So you chaps go back to normality, defending the colony. Let's go enact this other idea that I have. Which I know will work because I have been training these little guys for quite some time here. My secret little army. I knew that those guards would be absolutely useless, but I know for a fact that our little army of axolotls here will definitely help us out. So we will scoop up a few of them here and then we will take them out to the monument. Oh, this is going to be fun. I can already tell. Now, because I had the feeling that our guards wouldn't be able to assist me down there, I have already preemptively created something here to store the axolotls in before we release them down into the guardian pit. The Guardian Pit, the Ocean Monument, but you know what I meant. So I know it's going to be a bit cramped in here for you at the moment, guys, but just bear with me as I empty the last of you out. And although that looks like quite a lot of them there, I have already been scooping up a few more buckets of axolotls, so we are definitely going to have quite an army on our sides here. While I am counting 37 empty buckets within my inventory, meaning that we have 37 dangerous little creatures within this pen here, let's um, slowly start releasing them down into the waters below. That's it chaps, down you go, let's take out those guardians. Lovely stuff. And of course, I will be joining in in the fun here as well as we start to take on more of this. Can you guys not get out? Yep, my uh, redstone wasn't the best and nor is my mining at the moment. Oh no, actually, the rest of you are slowly starting to make it out here. Perfect. Well, let's go kick some ass then, guys. Starting with you. Now I know whenever an axolotl is hurt that they can play dead like this one here, just so that they do leave them be for a little bit, but I am hoping that we aren't going to have too many casualties with the sheer amount of axolotls that we have, and I will be doing my best to assist them out here, seeing as they are assisting us out in a major way. Well, I will let those axolotls take care of the guardians on the outside, and I have a few more on me here, which we will start to take on the ones in the inside. Whilst using some doors here just to replenish our own oxygen, let's find these big elder idiots. And we have found one here. Hello, chat. Let's release some more axolotl then, and hopefully they will head up to help us with the big guy. Uh, maybe wait on me coming up first, chaps, before we get ahead of ourselves. 
Right guys, up here then, there he is, let's take him on, which one of you are already in the process of doing so, there's another, thank you very much. Yes, that's it guys, that's it, that's it, fantastic, well done. These axolotls are so much better than those bloody idiot guards. Right, a few more elders to go by the looks of it. I see some other axolotls have already found another guardian for us, so let's quickly release a few more before we do have too many casualties here. And that is another guardian down. I think all of our axolotls have headed this direction. Yep, there they are, playing dead. Which is probably not a bad call, seeing as this room is fairly big and there's quite a few of them spawning in. I believe we have one more elder within this monument, which may just be around here actually. Yep, there he is. Let's uh, get set up again and release the axolotl. Right guys, come back this way because he is over here. In fact, yep, there he's there. I see you. Right, you come in to take him on, or are you wanting me to do it? No, damn right they don't want me to do it. Absolutely bloodthirsty little creatures. And that should be the last guardian then taken care of. Fantastic work guys, absolutely fantastic. Let's just test that then, so we'll drink the milk and no more debuff effect. I don't think so at least. So we are free to then mine the prismarine and sea lanterns in here. I believe we are. Well, this is definitely going to help our colony out here. And as much as I would like to just vein mine and strip away all of the prismarine, I think I will try keep this ocean monument somewhat intact. Oh, guys, uh, be careful of this though. Oh, well rip me not vein mining stuff. Let's grab some dark prismarine here and the gold blocks as well because why not and if we can find a sponge room I think we have pretty much made our point here. I absolutely love how these axolotls are terrorizing these guardians. Oh they make me so proud. And this sponge room, brilliant. Let's grab all of these out. And I think that's pretty much all of the loot that we're going to require from the monument, at least at the moment. Well, I would certainly say that's been a roaring success. I think the Guardians have maybe gotten the upper hand this time around, as I don't really see too many more Axolotl. But we will keep returning here with bigger and bigger armies, so those things are really not going to enjoy themselves. Nor is that dolphin who's now stuck in here. But we have the prismarine that we came here for in the first place, so I suppose that's all that really matters. And these idiots can now start upgrading their huts to level 4, and eventually to level 5, depending on what is going to be required for it. I wonder if axolotls can survive in the end. Well, there's another experiment for another day.